What, what do you want, a badge? All right, I forgot, here's plain badge. Yo, feature asteroid, bop that boy on there. Thanks, future asteroid. I appreciate it. So I have a little bit of a confession to make, alright? For basically every single video on my channel for the past, like, year, easy, there has been one addition to the videos that not many people notice. I one addition that is always omnipresent in these videos just he's kind of ill detectable if that's even a word he's just under the radar you know and this man I may or may not be looking at him right now but he is a trooper Alright, this little manetric that always sits on the little wire on my boom arm is the trooper of the channel and I just want to introduce him I don't think I've ever given him a formal introduction so this manetric I don't have a name for him if you guys want to comment a name down below I would love 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 to hear your name suggestions and I will definitely go ahead and pick a name maybe not in the next episode because I'm probably gonna record m one more in this session uh, but in a future episode of Pokemon Crystal I will acknowledge and I will choose a name from the comment section if you guys do want to go ahead and name him but anyways I got him in a 2014 uh, regional tournament a VGC regional tournament back when I was sort of kind of getting into competitive play it was brand new to me I went to this tournament they gave me a little cute manetric and uh, I don't know it's just stuck with me ever since I've had him for so long though that he just, uh, he just kind of become a member of the family, you know what I mean? But anyways, what is up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Crystal J Monologue Randomizer something something. I don't know why, but every single time I introduce Crystal, I feel like the black just gets more and more extreme. I keep enunciating it more and more and more. I don't know, it's really, really fun though. Try it at home if you guys uh, are just, you know, alone and don't have company around you because I feel like it'd be really really awkward if just I don't know where you started screaming like black black like just started screaming it in the middle of nowhere I think people would be a little bit concerned but if you're all if you're on your own right and if you're watching this video I urge you to give that a shot just go black but you gotta like summon it from like your throat all right it's gotta come up from like your chest and then your throat and it's gotta go whap like that anyways uh <laughs> Really dumb intro out of the way. Uh, hopefully, guys, having a fantastic day. If you guys missed the previous episode, it should have dropped over on Friday. Crossing my fingers. I'm recording this on Friday. It's all the same session, so hopefully it went up. Uh, oof! I'm, I'm crossing my fingers. I'm crossing my fingers. But if you guys missed that previous episode, it was absolutely incredible. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys peep it. I just want to throw out there, Samta's kind of on the verge of dying right now, and I'm a little bit concerned, but it's fine. Everything is good. Samta's fast. He's running away. Yo! Oh, I don't think we have Ursa Ring on us. Shoot. Shoot, man. But anyways, let's go over the team. Why not? So starting off here, we have my boy, Samta, the man, the myth, the legend. Spoiler alert. But in the previous episode, Santa gained access to a new move. He now has access to Cross Chop, which is freaking beautiful. That'll hopefully be able to give us uh, just another option to attack with Santa because present honestly really wasn't doing much for us. But anyways, Santa chilling here at level 13, the present given fool. Next up, we got my boy, Mr. Big J, the whooper with the water and ground typing. Nice and nice and destructive with Water Gun and Tail Whip as well. Next up, we have Jam Sky, also known as Peanut Butter Ground, with Ground and Rock Typing as the typing you guys already know and love him. Level 13 with the Lucky Egg, Horn Attack, Tail Whip, Stomp, and that's about it. Next up, we have Dave the Aerodactyl, the MVP, the one carrying the squad on his back with the Rock and Flying type as always. Wing Attack, Agility, Bite, and Supersonic. And then we also have this egg. Needs more time though, understandable. Hopefully we can hatch this egg in the in this episode. That'd be freaking dope. We ended up getting him from the daycare in the previous episode, so it'd be really nice if we could uh, get that hatched and just see what it becomes. It is going to be a static encounter, so as long as we have a typing on the team that resembles the typing that it has, we will be able to take advantage of it but then last but not least we have Dylan the newest addition to the squad the Totodile with the water type and scratch leer and rage
Age. So that's really exciting. We have a lot of Pokemon now. We more or less have a team of six, or team of six, excluding the egg. So that's pretty sick. We're definitely making a lot of progress here. We're definitely putting in the work. Uh, I do want to go back and grab Ursaring and cut down that tree, but I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to go ahead and fight the gym first. Then after we destroy Whitney, we'll go ahead and move on and uh, do the bug catching contest. Hopefully we'll be able to gain another team member from that, and that will complete our team of six. But actually, with the way things are looking right now, I kind of want to keep... Uh, this egg on the team like I'd rather have the egg on the team than have a team of six right now Just because of the fact that I really want to see what this thing hatches into and uh, I think it's gonna be super dope So our team is really getting fleshed out right now, which is really really cool to see We're also doing a pretty good job of trying to keep the levels on par There's still obviously some grinding we need to do and Dave is just kind of you know sitting atop on his throne just looking down on everybody but hopefully with this gym we'll be able to gain a lot of experience and Hopefully, we won't have too many issues with it. Uh, I know Whitney is kind of infamous for being devastating, but with a randomizer, I don't know, man. I feel like Whitney might be a little bit easier or maybe even harder depending on what the randomizer decides to dish out for us. You know, it could be easier if Whitney only has, like, Weedles, you know, but you throw Whitney with a Mewtwo and things could get probably uh, pro problematic. Anyways, what's up, dude? Yo, champ in the making! This gym is home to normal type Pokemon trainers. I recommend you use fighting type Pokemon. Well, thank you. Thank you for the tip. That's like Pokemon Master 101. Thank goodness I uh, am a well seasoned Pokemon veteran. I, I didn't even need to know that information. I just. Shoot. <laughs> this girl totally just blocked our exit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Is that the whole point of this trainer? This obviously isn't the right way to go, because... Yeah, now we now we can't even... That's dumb. That's really, 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 really flippin' dumb. Yo, Arbok, that's really cool, though. Uh, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if you guys knew, but in every single generation, with every single new iteration of Arbok, I'm pretty sure the face... Like, the face design changes. So that's super interesting. I'm sure it's, like, more consistent now with the newer games, but... Uh, there was a period of time where, like, every single generation had a different face of Arbok. And that's super clean. We're gonna go and switch into Dave. Uh, we're gonna focus on switch training right now, because honestly, Mr. Big J, I would keep him in. He has a ground type, which is super effective on poison, but... He doesn't have access to a ground type attack at this point in time, so... Can't really do much. So we're gonna- we're gonna stay on the safe side. We're gonna make sure- Yo! Mr. Big J just earned slam! That's really cool! And uh, he's jamming! It's freaking freaking space jam! Come on and slam! And welcome to the jam! Or jam and I forgot the song. <laughs> that was embarrassing, and I'm calling myself a true space jam fan. Uh, but no, in all honesty, I haven't I haven't seen space jam in forever. It has been so, so incredibly long. We'll go for the wing attack though. Absolutely not like this mouth. Yo, this this chick literally has the entirety of Team Rocket on on her squad. That is adorable. Is she Jessie? Is she Jessie Chloe? I feel like that's a cover-up name. Yeah, she's definitely Jessie. No, oh Meowth, I'm so sorry. What? It's randomized! So wait, wait, wait. Does she have a Meowth in in the original game? She must have. She, what are the odds? What are the odds, dude? Okay, yeah, she totally just blocked us off. God damn it. Okay. Um, yeah, no, that's crazy. That's crazy. She must have a Meowth in the original game. That's why her dialogue said that. Or unless, maybe the dialogue updates with whatever Pokemon she has. I mean, then again, it, it wouldn't be too outlandish for her to have a Meowth. Uh, it is a normal type gym. So, I don't know. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to fill me in on that one. Let me know. Let me, let me know for those of you guys who are crystal experts out there. We got Ranger Donna with a battle. Alright, he's gonna send the pseudo- Oh. I see you with those hips. I see you with those hips. Those, those hips don't lie. Those hips don't lie. Alright, you're the one who killed Squawk Squawk! I still have a grudge. Luckily, now we have a water type to, uh, defend ourselves. Alright, Mr. Big J is coming back. He's avenging our, our late starter. In case you guys didn't know, Squawk Squawk. He was, um, he was, he was a friend, he was a comrade, and he was a member of our team. Unfortunately, he didn't really last long, because of a f certain fake tree, not pointing fingers or anything, but dude, certain fake tree over here, 
Oh my god. Yeah, so Squawk Squawk unfortunately perished. It was it was really devastating. I was I was in tears. Um he had a funeral, and the funeral was just as devastating as his actual death. It just it was just a soft reminder that he wasn't able to be with us anymore. Uh, really, really hit home. Anyways, we have Machoke here. Shout out to my boy Vinny. This is literally Vinny. Dude, he's been he's been making those gains. I'm not sure if you guys follow him on Instagram. I'm sure a lot of you guys do. But this man has been absolutely killing it in the gym. It is uh it is ridiculous. Is what it is. It's it's honestly impressive. It's inspiring, honestly. Anyways, Mr. Big J is getting all that experience. Dave's getting all the experience. Nice and clean. And we got a Firo. Alright, we'll just stay in. We'll stay in. We'll go for the wing attack. We got two flying beasts here going at it. That's pretty clean, but Dave is clearly the superior one because Dave just does not care. Alright, he doesn't give a single crap about your Firos or what they're scared of. It's it's honestly ridiculous, man. He just he doesn't care. Alright, he's a very savage man. Anyways, we're gonna keep moving on. Yo, question of the day. I'm sure a lot of you guys know this because this is like, you know, Poke Trivia 101. Or not really question of the day, but just fact of the day. Uh, this gym, if you look at it from a sky view, looks like a Clefairy. I'll throw a picture on screen right now. Bop! Bop! So yeah. It's, uh, it's very interesting. It's very, it's very cool. It's one of those things that, like, you wouldn't notice unless you're able to get that top-down view. Unless you're able to go into the game and, uh, and, like, cut out that part. Yo! That's a freaking Celebi. Level 18 Celebi. Alright, Mr. Big J does not want to stay in. We'll go ahead and switch out. Go into Dave, of course. I feel like, I feel like that's just the given, man. Like, obviously we're switching out into Dave because Dave's the only one who can handle the situation. Anyways, going for confusion. That's actually pretty powerful. That's a Celebi. Um, okay. Yeah, we're fine, though. Dave's eating it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I'll go for the wing attack. It's super effective. We could go for the bite as well, but bite is not stab, unfortunately, so the wing attack is definitely the smartest move. On top of that, we do have the sharp beak boosting the wing attack's power. Look at us go, man. We're doing a really, really good job. Like, I don't mean to jinx anything. Like, knock on wood. Alright? But, uh, we're genuinely killing this game, and honestly, it's just super cool to see. So anyways, yeah, there's the face of the Clefairy. Nice and powerful. It's one of those things, like, you wouldn't... I mean, I guess you could notice it, like, just from, you know, playing the game, but I feel like you can't really observe it unless you, um... Unless you look on it from uh, look at it from that top-down perspective, so that's super interesting. I love that uh, Game Freak was super creative with it. It's not really much of a puzzle by any means, but it's definitely interesting. So, anyways, we got Lady Kim. All right, all right, that's pretty interesting with the Pidgeot. Oh shoot! Look at how fabulous this man is. He's like, I'm fabulous. I forgot the lyrics, but that's a High School Musical song. Shout out to High School Musical. I love High School Musical so much. I want to rewatch the movie so bad. Like, I've been, like, low-key. Actually, like, high-key. I've been tweeting about it and stuff. Um, but I've been listening to the soundtrack of High School Musical 2 a good bunch lately. And I've been getting, like, super into it. It's just all those songs are really, really nostalgic. But I honestly don't remember, like, a lot of the movie. I haven't seen the movie in probably easily 10 years. Um... So it's it's just it's kind of crazy that like I'm listening and I'm rocking out to all these songs and I remember a lot of the songs, but I, I don't remember the movies. I really, 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 really don't. So hopefully I get the chance to rewatch them soon. Actually, me and my girlfriend Danny were talking about um, possibly rewatching them soon. So I'm really, really excited about that. Actually, I figured I could I could talk about this, right? I figured I can. Um, but yeah, no, Danny as well as Ryan, King Corfish, you guys already know and love them. They're both actually going to be coming down and visiting this summer. Uh, it's going to be like early July they're going to be here. So that's really, really exciting. I'm definitely, definitely pumped for that. In case you guys didn't know, last summer, uh, Ryan visited back in July as well as Sean. And that was an absolute blast. I had so much fun hanging out with him or hanging out with, uh, with both Ryan and Sean. We actually have a bunch of vlogs from uh, from when we visited. I'll go ahead and link that playlist down below if you guys want to peep it, but we're most likely going to be finishing the co-op um, when he's here in, in July. Just to clarify, for those of you guys who, who are confused and, and interested about the co-op, um, we meant to do the finale at Ryan's house back when I was there in, in the beginning part of this month, but unfortunately we weren't able to finish it in that one stream, so uh, we're just going to wrap it up when we're in person again, but this time at my house. Um, so that'll be freaking cool. We have a Meganium here. I'm gonna switch out, go into Dylan, because I feel like Dylan could use the experience. We'll switch out again, go back into Dave. That's a crit! Okay, you can stop. Let me heal up. 
just because I want to be safe, man. Literally, safe is my middle name and my last name and my first name. Safe is just my name. <laughs> <laughs> so nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Safe. Uh, we'll go for the wing attack. Hopefully that'll be enough. Meganium is nice and powerful in the gen. I absolutely love that neck, dude. He's craning across the field. He's looking like a freaking, uh, freaking, 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 what's the word? What's the word? He's looking like a crane. That's what he's looking like. All right, I was going to compare him to something else, but never mind. That's honestly the best comparison I can make. Dylan learned water gun. There we go. Look at my boy. Now we have double the water type power in the form of Wooper and Totodile. All right, Lady Kim, good game. Now we're going to be taking on the gym leader. Here goes nothing. What's up, Whitney? Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone wants to get into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Relatable. That is the most relatable thing I think this game has ever thrown at us. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Okay, Whitney usually is pretty good, but I think with the randomizer, I think she's going to be kind of a pushover. I mean, I don't mean to, like, discredit Whitney or anything, but I don't know, man. I don't know, man. That's a Pidgey! She's weak! She is weak! This is garbage. I expected some sort of a challenge. You're giving me a Pidgey? I, I see how it is. I I'm not going to speed up. I'm sorry. I it's a really bad habit of mine to press it. Like, ever since I started doing YouTube and I've had access to emulators and the ability to speed up, it's just been a really, really bad habit. But anyways, down goes Pidgey. Your wings are nothing compared to the wingspan of Dave. Dave's wingspan is impeccable at this point. She's going to send in Staryu. All right. Bit of a pushover. Not even going to lie. We'll go back into... Actually, let's go to Mr. Big T. Or Big T. That's not a T. Mr. Big J. Just because I feel like he could use the experience. Our team is is getting those levels, man. I'm really, really happy that we're starting to um, really, really switch train here. It's definitely helping out a lot. Level 20, though. All right. That's pretty high leveled. And this thing is super effective on Dave. So that's a little bit scary. Uh, we'll go back into Dave, though. I feel like Dave is definitely our best play. He's going to go for the Harden. Ooh, okay. I might have spoke too soon. She might not be a pushover. Um, we'll go for the wing attack. He did boost his defense, but, I mean, Dave is still powerful, man. Like, we're still... We're still... Oh! He barely lives! Hits me with the water gun. Okay. All right. All right, yo. We're still taking that. Dave is nuts. Dave is actually nuts. Hit him with that bite. Oh my goodness. Rest in peace. Is Staryu Psychic? I don't think it is. Yeah, no, that wasn't super effective, so it definitely isn't. Um, it's uh, it's Star Me that becomes the Psychic type. Anyways, great game, Leader Jasmine. Rest in peace, Whitney. Sob. Wow, you're mean. You shouldn't be so serious, you, you child, you. Hey, listen, you asked for a battle. Well, I asked for the battle in this case. But listen, you agreed to it, so stop being a sore loser. You meanie. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Oh, you made Whitney cry. It's okay. She'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. Please give me the badge. Sniff. What? What do you want? A badge? All right. I forgot. Here's plain badge. Yo. Feature asteroid. Bop that boy on there. <laughs> Thanks, future asteroid. I appreciate it. Bam, bam, bam. Also, boost your Pokemon speed. I can have this too. TM45. Yo, please tell me Delibird can learn it. Please tell me it's an ice type attack. Give me something stab related. It's Thundershock. Okay. Okay. Who can learn Thundershock? I'm not opposed to that. Um, TM45. What do we got? Who's going to learn it? Everybody can learn it. Okay. Okay. Who do we want to teach this to? I was thinking Samta initially, right? But I don't know if Samta can really take advantage of that. I feel like we should definitely teach it to a special attacker, which we have a lot of physical attackers here. Um, uh, I don't know, man. I feel like, I guess, I guess Mr. Big J, just because he's a special attacker. Dylan is definitely more physical. Samta, I don't really know what Samta is, to be honest. But Samta, we already taught him cross chop, so I kind of want to give it to someone else. Also, I don't know how much Thundershock is really going to be of use to him. Um, well, actually, then again, cross chop only has 5 PP, so it might be smart. Uh, Jam Sky, no, Jam Sky is a physical attacker and Dave is as well. We'll, we'll teach it to Samta. We'll teach it to Samta. Just because Samta doesn't have a full moveset. So I feel like that might be smart. And then also, it'll give him some more PP because Cross Drop only has 5 PP. So we come, like, if we get in the situation to where, um, shoot, now that, now that she moved, we can't, ugh. If we get in the situation to where we're, like, in a long, drawn-out battle, we're obviously going to want more than just 5 attacks. I know we have Present, but Present... Mmm, presence a little bit, a little bit of an oof, but 
Anyways, with that being said, we're gonna head up to the bug catching competition. See if we can get another encounter over there. A few moments later. Not gonna lie to you guys, my dad called and then I totally forgot what I was talking about before I made the jump cut. So anyways, sorry about that, but here we are back ready to get started or not get started but i guess just get started with the healing process yeah let's let's hit the yes button all right anyways we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and do the bug catching competition i feel like that's the smartest thing to do just because it'll give us access to a brand new encounter and then we can wrap the episode up with that uh overall we did a lot like just over these past couple episodes i feel like we're making some really really good progress here and it's just really really nice to know that like you know, the series hasn't even been going on for too long, and we've been able to make it this far. You know, I feel like it's just, I don't know, it's just refreshing to be, like, somewhat consistent. I know I missed Monday, unfortunately, but outside of that, we've done a really, really good job of keeping the series up, and uh, I really, really appreciate you guys still coming through with that support. Anyways, we hold contests regularly in the park. You should give it a shot. Okay. I, 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 wa I, I want to. Why, why, why didn't you let me? Why didn't you let me give it a shot? That's what I'm trying to do. That's my goal. That's my objective. Okay, maybe we're not going to be able to do the uh, the bug catching competition, but we can at least get an encounter in National Park, and that's the main thing that I want to do anyway. So here we go. The typings we can catch just to kind of refresh here. We have water, ground, uh, ice, flying, uh, rock, and that's it. So those are the five typings. Just a little bit of just a little bit of a refresher there. And uh, here we go. What are we gonna get? Give me something good. Come on, National Park. Come on, National Park. Ooh. Okay, we don't have a normal type though. So unfortunately, we can't catch that. But yo, I would love a Snorlax. I would absolutely love a Snorlax. And uh, what's interesting about this though is that now that our team is kind of filling up, whatever we get here is gonna be like electric. Okay, can't catch that. Uh, but whatever we get here is gonna be like the final the final aspect of our team um which is super cool like this is gonna be like the uh the the finale of of our team i mean not necessarily obviously we can switch around mons and stuff but um in terms of like the initial catching process this is, the, this is gonna be like us exiting the beginning portion of this game where typings are scarce and uh now we're hopefully if we get it like a dual type here it's gonna open us up to a lot of different typings my pokemon is simply darling let me tell you my pr how proud my darlings make me now actually once we catch this mon we could rearrange our team or actually maybe not after we catch this one but after we catch more and more pokemon we can rearrange our teams where we are given the most possible options in terms of typings so like for example we could remove uh whooper theoretically i mean i don't want to get rid of my boy but we could remove whooper because we already have well actually no we couldn't because we need Wooper to bridge the gap between Dylan and Rhyhorn. Okay, so never mind. But we could theoretically get rid of Dylan. Um, just because of the fact that we already have a water type. Yo, someone just someone just followed. Thank you for the follow. I'm sorry the alert noise came up, but I, I am just looking at it now. The alerts aren't actually on. Um, but you know, thank you for thank you for the alert. Thank you for whatever you did. I appreciate it. Anyways, we got Mr. Big J here. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys are, are picking up what I'm putting down. We could theoretically get rid of Dylan in her place for something else that allows us to catch more Pokemon. Uh, and that might be smart. But then again, Dylan himself is just an absolute powerhouse, and I don't necessarily want to get rid of him. We're going to keep Mr. Big J in. I feel like he's got this. We'll go for the slam. It's not stabbed, but I think it is more powerful than Water Gun, so I think it'll I think it'll do a good amount. We'll go ahead and hit him hard. It's going to do absolutely nothing, so let's go for the Water Gun. I think that'll... I think that'll do more. It turns out Water Gun and Slam basically do the same amount. So we're gonna go and switch into Dave. Go for that wing attack, absolutely annihilate Stantler. Yo, I feel sorry for this man. He's got a frisbee up his butt. It, it makes me sad. It makes me really, really sad. It just depresses me to see him. <laughs> I can't, I can't even fathom how painful that must be for him. I wish for a Meryl of my own. Aww. I'm sure you'll get one one day, miss. I'm sure you'll get one one day. Anyways, what do we got here? Another Snorlax, bro. I don't want it. Well, actually, I do want a Snorlax, but I can't catch a Snorlax. Give me something I can catch. Please. Come on, mystical patch of grass that's within the park. Ooh, okay. All right. All right. I'll take it. I will take that. Let's go into Dave because I feel like we can go for a wing attack, and I don't think that'll kill. I mean, or maybe it will. I don't know. I'm just going to go for the wing attack. I don't think it'll kill, though. Just because Onyx is extremely bulky. And it's not very effective. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that was perfect. Now, we're going to hit him with the Great Ball. Uh, try and get this man. We could get a Steelix if we end up getting a Metal Coat. So that would... that Actually, actually, no, you need to trade him with a Metal Coat, right? 
and you can't trade obviously because this is an emulator um shoot but i did turn off impossible evolutions so we still might be able to get a steelix i don't know but that'd be a powerful asset man i freaking love onyx i distinctly remember like back in gen 4 you used to be able to catch onyx in the um in the coal mine and that was always a pokemon i caught like i always grab myself an onyx whenever i play through gen 4 um just because onyx is like one of the one of the best pokemon you can get early on honestly in gen 4 it's one of those pokemon that just stands out so much and it's it's a really, really good mod, especially for early on, so... Anyways, can we please catch this boy? Can we get this slippery tube dude? I also know there's a snake in my ball. That's all I want. That's all I want. I want him... Maybe not on the team, because I don't... Well, we could throw him on the team. He could be our sixth team member. Um, because, I mean, we'll actually... Actually, I don't want to say anything just yet, because I'd actually probably rather have the egg on there. Just so we can hatch it and see what it is. Uh, but after the egg hatches, if it's something that we can't use or whatever we end up getting wouldn't be as good as the onyx We could throw the onyx as our sixth team member, which would actually be freaking dope um, So yeah, no, it's pretty nice that we're finally like getting to the point to where our team is starting to be complete We have a lot more typings to catch and a lot more typings open to us now This onyx doesn't actually allow us to catch anything extra, but it's just cool to have another uh, Rock ground type to back us up, you know Anyways get in the ball. Come on onyx. You know you want to are we really not gonna catch this thing? Is this, is this really what's happened? There we go, finally! Jeez, all right, Onyx was being a little bit stubborn there, but there we go, we got my boy Onyx. He's the rock snake, he's the rock slippery tube, dude. As it digs through the ground, it absorbs many hard objects. This is what makes its body so solid. That's super cool. Give a nickname. We're going to go ahead and name this man after someone in the comment section of the previous, previous episode. So if you guys want a Pokemon named after you, drop a comment, drop an answer to the question of the day. And I got you guys for a future episode. But with that being said, give me one moment and I'll be RB. All right, we have a comment from my boy, Archmage. Thank you so much for your support, my guy. In response to the question today of our yams of fridge food, he said, looks at question of the day, our yams of fridge food, this seems familiar. I feel like... Somebody wants to sell me something. Thank you so much for the support my guy I really really flippin do appreciate it and in case you guys didn't understand what that question today was all about that was a reference to a uh, An old uh, uranium episode that I did it was an it was an intro that we had in the Pokemon uranium nuzlocke So big shot to that I actually played that intro clip at the end of that episode I'm not sure if you guys notice and I'm sure only the uh, a select few of you guys actually realized this but after every Every single outro, right? And I, I've never like explicitly stated this, but after every single outro, whether it be Battle Evolution, whether it be Crystal, um, I always include something after the outro for those of you guys who are willing to stick it out and uh, and and wait until after the outro. Um, it's, it's always like a little secret Easter egg. It's just a funny clip. I always try to include something absolutely random at the end. Um, just to, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of an Easter egg for those of you guys who stick around for that long. But anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of the Pokemon Crystal Chain Monologue Randomizer. I really, really do appreciate you guys' support. You guys absolutely kill it as always. Um, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And with that being said, I'll see you dudes in the next one. Peace!